let's go on with the next session. Uh, the title is How to Foresee the Best Place for Your Project, Nature Pacific's Urban Assessment Tools. Implementation of the new NDS in urban areas is a relatively complex issue as numerous aspects of the urban tissue have to be considered. The urban assessment module of the Nature for Cities platform provides opportunity to create simple scenarios in order to see how the planned NDS will affect its surroundings. Besides the introduction of the module <coughs> called Simplified Urban Assessment Tool, SUAT, its three main sub-tools, Green Pass, Colory, Expert Model Base Box, and their implementation into the Nature for Cities platform is going to be presented. So we have uh, three speakers in uh, this sub-session. I think, as far as I'm informed, Mr. Bardenabash Körnmendi, Project Manager at the Hungarian Urban Knowledge Center, MEPK, with the start. He coordinates the Nature for Cities Urban Assessment. Second one would be Florian Kraus. He's urban landscape architect, co-developer of the tool and CEO at Greenpass, followed by Nicola Pisani, architect, founder and CEO at Colory. And Barbara Bashkermandy will explain a little bit more about the expert model base box. So um Barna. Great. So as Vera has introduced us, uh, my name is Bonabash Kermandy and I'm working for the Hungarian Urban uh, Night Center, and <clears throat> as uh, my duty is the responsibility for the development of uh, urban assessment module. Well, uh, Florian Kraus will introduce you the Green Pass, and uh, not uh, Nicola, but Federico Silvestri will introduce you the Colory tool. <clears throat> and. Uh, Naturally, you have a question and answer part at the end of the, uh, and the at the <clears throat> at the end of our presentation. So, uh, when the idea of a new MDS implementation come into mind, uh, several urban challenges have to be considered. Uh, you can see some examples here with the topic of climate, environment, economy, and the social um, aspects. <clears throat> And it is a rel relatively complex issue to find answers to all the questions around an NDS project. However, uh, focusing on the main topics can help uh, to outline its framework. So SUA tool can help you uh, in this. As this module uh, constitutes the urban part of the Nature for Cities platform, the urban challenges on which the main focuses are from topics of climate environment and social um, with the re, uh, respectively uh, respective challenges you can see. They cover the, the wide range of uh, urban challenges in order to give a general overview of a planned NBS project. So uh, in our case, the envisioned outcome of the tool development is rather a composition of uh, unique tools to cover these challenges instead of uh, developing a single tool. Here you can see all those uh, KPIs, which are uh, KPIs, I mean, key performance indicators, uh, which are covered you know, with the component of SUA tool. Actually, it is constituted uh, from four components, but uh, for the case of noise box, for the noise box, it's still a future question whether we can implement it uh, in the framework of nature for cities or not. But uh, in the initial uh, case, we are planning to use uh, four components, from which uh, three, three are standalone, and the expert model base box is a new development in the framework of nature for cities from which I will give you a detailed uh, explanation uh, in the next slides. So totally uh, 22 indicators are covered with the tools. Start with the green pass. Here you can see a short description of the tool. And uh, during the tool selection, the scale of, uh, on which the um, NBS implementation can be analyzed uh, was a totally crucial issue. So, in case of Green Pass, uh, it is optimized 
or uh, object or entity and neighborhood scale. On the right side, you can see the short uh, introduction of uh, each KPIs and actually on the N4C, Nature for Cities platform, uh, you can find the whole report if you need further uh, details about uh, the KPIs. In the case of coloring, uh, in their case, they have to uh, implement or develop their KPIs according to be able to cover biodiversity and urban space uh, aspects of, of an urban environment. And now they are uh, doing this um, with the meanwhile of implementing uh, the Colory tool under the Nature for Cities platform. And as the third part of the SUA tool, uh, here you can see the expert-based models, KPIs, uh, which as I mentioned earlier, is a totally new development. Uh, for these um, models or methods, uh, there were um, a relatively deep literature review and relatively deep uh, analysis which models or methods should be applied in, in this and should be involved into the box. <clears throat> and on the right side, you can see the base from which the KPIs were implemented into this uh, expert model based box. And during the selection, we focused on the availability of, uh, of these models and the applicability, and of course, the user friendliness to make it easy for the users to use it through, through the platform. And actually, each uh, KPI uh, is covered with one expert model. And as I mentioned, uh, we focused on the easy utilization of, uh, of these tools, not as difficult as, for example, Japanese language, but it's also as a charm. So as a summary of uh, the tool implementation on the platform, here you can see this figure, sorry for its complexity, but uh, I hope you can see the details. So here you can see that for all the uh, elements, there are um, parameters which have to be added in order to do the simple calculations for the KPIs. And uh, for the simplified uh, means in the SUA tool is not only for uh, simplifying the KPIs uh, as much as possible in order to uh, meet the minimum uh, information requirement for the calculation, but uh, as well for the, the trustfulness of the calculation of KPIs. So we have to balance uh, in between these two uh, edge of uh, how to simplify, but uh, leave what is really necessary for the calculation. So each tool uh, has um, their own requirements and when uh, through the NBS platform, uh, N4C platform, sorry, um, you can add uh, several information uh, which can come from uh, several sources, uh, for example, from the N4C platform or open sources or uh, uh, added by the user. And uh, as you can saw yesterday, from Susanna's uh, presentation about the platform. Uh, you can add all the information uh, through the platform and then all uh, this information will, will be sent to the Green Pass or Colory or uh, the EMBB. And then the calculation will, will be done uh, on, on their own servers at the behind. And then the results will, will be sent back to the uh, and for C platform, and, it, and they are going to be stored there. After the uh, analysis, the results can be um, visualized uh, through the n platform uh, in the way of charts or maps or scale bars. And now I would like to introduce you the EMBB box in detail.
Here you can see the annual carbon sequestration, which is uh, for its potential uh, as the carbon sequestration um, can be amortized, so it is, can be used easily in cost venue analysis of lean spaces. For this KPI, there is no maximum uh, value, but uh, according to the literature, four ton per hectare is a relatively good result. Uh, here you can see as well the calculation process. Uh, as well, it will be shown for all, all the others, all the other KPIs. Here for the bite of area factor, relatively uh, other land cover categories should have been added. Than, than usually. So if uh, a land cover map uh, has been done according to the table that you can see on the right side, then the calculation can be done. Well, as it is a normalized uh, value, and as a result, it can be uh, between zero and one. But uh, as you can see in the down of the table, you can uh, get extra bonus points for uh, vegetation types, which is uh, outstanding of, from the NDS uh, implementation. For the sustainable practice indicator, mm, you have to fill out uh, a questionnaire, mm, which is constitutes from 20 to 25, oh, sorry, 25 uh, questions. Uh, it is easy to Fill it as you can uh, answer with yes or no, or, or partially um, satisfactory. And at the end, you can see uh, how much your um, your uh, NBS implementation project can be sustainable. There are five categories in which you have to answer the questions. So for the peak flow variation, you only have to add uh, the vegetation coverage of the area, so it can calculate uh, how the uh, rainfall will uh, go down on the urban environment. Here, uh, uh, in this KPI, four kind of scenarios uh, can be differentiated, from which two can be seen here. Yes, for water quality, we still have a lot of open questions, uh, but it is based on the EU uh, Water Framework Directive. So, um, and it focuses on uh, swales and uh, green uh, green roof types of NDSs. So, we do not uh, take into consideration biological elements and uh, hydromorphological elements. And for the last one, uh, we have four uh, soil indicators for which the categories of the um, results can be uh, can be seen here. And it also gives back uh, a spare bar as a result. So these are the elements of uh, the EMDB box. And uh, as you can see, uh, they cover a wide range of urban aspects. We are happy to contribute uh, with GreenPass to the Simplified Urban Assessment Tool. So um, what is GreenPass? Uh, it's the Green Performance Assessment System. So it's an acronym um, which allows now or you typically um, know this situation, different design drafts and how to design which one is performing best from especially climate resilience point of view. And on the next slide, you will see uh, that GreenPass is now offering that and enabling fact-based decision-making for each phase of uh, urban development and competition. Uh, so it's summarized uh, all in one software as a service for three main target groups, uh, which are developers, um, urban planners and architects, landscape architects, and all planning related people, and of course, municipalities. Uh, QueenPass enables uh, the climate resilient uh, design of urban development and architecture, the evaluation of the impacts of materials, urban structures, nature based solutions uh, on the environment, and uh, the optimization of cost benefit, and uh, finally, the first international certification standard for climate resilience. So uh, it's a standardized evaluation method and technology for urban development. Um, basically dealing uh, with up to six urban challenges, which are climate, water, air, biodiversity, energy, and cost. 
and uh, delivering four different tools for the respective planning phase. You will see that on the next slide. And uh, one software, uh, which is in GIS-based uh, editor software and leading to the uh, final certification uh, system. On the next slide, you uh, see uh, the, how it's working. So there is the Greenpass editor, which allows a straight import uh, from your common planning data like CAD or GIS files and uh, is coupled to uh, a standardized process uh, where a set of key performance indicators and scores uh, are analyzed, linked to expert simulation models like Envimet, which you may know, or Rheologic uh, CFD for wind simulations, and leading to performance optimization and fact-based decision-making. Um, so there is a toolbox offering uh, different services um, and uh, with different uh, grade of details, so up to 28 uh, indicators, uh, also additionally qualitative bonus indicators. And uh, you can see the marked one, the first one, the assessment, uh, which is based, uh, or which is a, a rough um, assessment of your project and is based uh, on machine learning approach and regression analysis. So we will go uh, deeper into that um, further on. Um, just quickly before, there are also services uh, existing for especially the competition phase uh, for um, participants uh, to prove their design drafts. Uh, and then the pre-certification phase, uh, which is already based as the competition on a individual simulation. So where you can see your project and uh, finally leading to the certification with the full scope of indicators with an iterative optimization process uh, with the customer and the planning team to uh, get the best out of the project. So I will explain you uh, more in detail the assessment part, which will be also part of the simplified urban assessment tool of the Nature for Cities platform. So uh, the assessment part uh, is dealing with uh, four, four urban challenges, which are climate, water, air and energy. And Basically, the uh, project process is like this. So you have a project, uh, what is needed and uh, crucial and necessary is the digitalization of your project because we need information to analyze it. That's of course uh, clear. Um, to do this pre-analysis of your project where uh, you finally will get a report and then the assessment of your project. Summarized again, it's based uh, on an uh, on a um, regression analysis and a huge uh, set of a database with a lot of simulation data in the back, um, coupled with uh, so-called urban standard typologies, which you can see on this slide, which are uh, developed in uh, different um, um, international R&D projects uh, with the frame of five um, case study cities, which are Vienna, London, Hong Kong, Cairo, and Santiago de Chile and uh, where you can um, um, cover your city with these urban standard typologies. So uh, on the next slide, you can see a little bit deeper how this is working. So we had an analysis on area um, images, um, how the percentage of the land use of the building, of the streets, of the different land use um, categories uh, are, and have um, clustered different uh, structures and typologies uh, to these urban standard typologies, which are also existing in different greening grades. Means these scenarios are existing like they are based on the aerial image analysis, as well as in a worst case scenario, which is totally sealed, and the maximum scenario, which is a kind of a jungle. And in between, there is also a moderate scenario, uh, which uh, is uh, quite a realistic scenario, which we aim to, to come. Um, it's all based on very deep um, analysis and data. As you can see here, uh, every project and as well the UST uh, has area analysis linked to their land use uh, classes and types and uh, different types of nature-based solutions. Uh, because it's important, uh, that it's defined uh, your, to define your land use classes uh, to the green plus typology, which is defined uh, for different uh, types of green roofs and green walls and uh, surfaces, as well as different size of trees, where you um, illustrate and digitalize your planning uh, to be able to uh, analyze it with the assessment. 
So uh, this one is uh, may quite a uh, little bit complex. Um, we don't have to go into detail that, but just showing uh, that a digital input is needed uh, to do this um, regression and calculation, which are based on these urban standards typologies and a lot of simulations in the back, which are coming out from NVMET and that there are several correction factors uh, for the NBS types and uh, the different USTs um, to do a matching of your project with these USTs where the results then will be calculated based on regression and machine learning approach for your project. So in the end, you will become a key performance indicator results or key performance scores. So when we skip to the next uh, page, we can see uh, that uh, the frame uh, within the sewer tool is covering uh, five key performance scores. Uh, we have seen that already and Barnabas explained it a little bit. Uh, the first one is the thermal load score, which uh, expressed the thermal load, which is the air temperature flow of an area to the adjacent environment. The thermal comfort score is uh, made the most important indicator because we humans feel temperature different. We have heard that already too. So uh, which express uh, in an easy understandable uh, number the thermal comfort of your project area and shows which uh, areas of the project uh, is in which thermal comfort score class. The, Thermal storage score uh, shows the sum of the stored energy in the different surface layers in your model. The runoff score shows uh, how uh, much water will run off or can be kept by the plants or by the soil and further on be used for ever evapotranspiration. And the carbon sequestration indicator uh, indicates uh, how much carbon uh, or CO2 will be stored. So Finally, uh, it will be looking like that. So we are working to integrate it to the Nature for Cities platform. Uh, the API is already existing and uh, within the next weeks, uh, it will be also integrated uh, within the platform. The result will be then looking like that, that you will have a matched UST, which is the base for the calculation of your result. You will then get uh, some images, like for example, the thermal comfort score in the middle uh, of the blue bar, on the right side, uh, some performance bars where you can see where the indicators and your project is uh, located um, in reference to these reference scenarios. And you get easy understandable numbers for these indicators. For example, the thermal load score is minus 0 0.005 degrees. Just uh, some slides in the end um, to show you that we have applied uh, the technology and the services already a lot um, by more than 70 projects uh, in 10 different European countries. In the meanwhile, the picture is an old one, so also in UK, in the Netherlands, in Belgium, in Germany, uh, in Italy, in Switzerland, in Czech Republic, uh, and so on. So um, we are really uh, quite happy that uh, yeah, the market is, is interested to that. I uh, just want to uh, mention that we also have an urban climate architect training, a licensed partner system where we train potential partners as urban climate architects. So if you're interested, feel free to have a look at uca.creamplus.io. And finally, next slide, uh, just shortly want to mention, because also Colory is part of that, that we are uh, of the top 50 uh, EU prop tech startups uh, selected and awarded. So we are happy uh, that also the European Commission uh, contributes uh, our work and, and value. So on the next page, just to show that it's important to especially optimize the thermal comfort because it's about us humans who live in the cities and we should think about how we design our cities uh, to really feel comfortable. And that's the reason why we are doing this and why we want to enable livable cities. Me as uh, as Colory, we will do um, a live demonstration of the calculation of the KPIs. Since already Barna and uh, also Susanna have explained how how it works, but briefly um, I will say what we do. So Colory is a prop tech startup, and we uh, we operate mainly in the analysis of the uh, urban fabric uh, in the uh, market and and also services. Uh, 
and um, amenities and urban uh, um, dotations uh, domains. So we basically evaluate cities and uh, we, our expertise is much um, concentrated on uh, uh, topology calculations, geometrical operations, and um, also graph analysis. So, uh, as Barna said, and also as Susanna specified, uh, the urban uh, the simplified assessment tool uh, communicates with the other external tools, such as uh, the Colory tool and the CleanPass tool, through an API, uh, which is an application uh, program interface. So, basically, uh, a shared uh, system, a shared way to have two programs uh, speak to each other. So we we developed uh, our API so that the SUA tool and the developers of this can speak to us, uh, can speak to the machine, okay, because it's ma machine speaking. And um, I will give you a uh, not very exciting for the moment uh, demonstration of what it is. So for example, uh, this would be uh, a request that is done to our tool completely live and this is the the response so this is the machine language uh, not very cool to see but we will see a, a demonstration on a demo uh, very briefly so this is the shared language that we use which is uh, basically a JSON, which is a standard in uh, web gis gis and also uh, web web development development in general and for example this is a request for a calculation in a pilot city uh, for a specific indicator uh, our um, our platform basically uh, grants access to the SUA tool by uh, access tokens which is a way to ensure that uh, you know the the request is coming from a from a trusted uh, from a, a, an approved um, user which is the SUA tool itself. For example, here in my test profile, I have three access tokens. And, I, and you can create and delete them since uh, the token are still public, publicly visible and there's no way to, to do it otherwise. But you can uh, you know, cycle through, the, through them so that the, the passwords are always new. And this is uh, the demo. Basically, uh, this demo was done to uh, you know, emulate the communication between the SUA tool and our um, our server, our API server. So this is our um, demo, but it still serves as a as a representation of communication between two different programs because this is just a web interface. But on the behind the scenes, there there is the engine that calculates the KPI. Uh, so we implemented, as Barna said, uh, we are implementing six KPIs for the moment. Uh, we have five. Um, five already um, possible to do the between us is still in development uh, and can you hear me okay and uh, i will give you examples for example we can we could calculate uh, the accessibility of green spaces so basically we evaluate uh, buildings uh, based on the uh, um, workability and accessibility to green spaces not only the the green space uh, originated by the NDS solution, but also stuff that is already existent. So we uh, we collected data from the pilot cities, for example. And here we will do an example on Zeged, for example, or on Alcala de Naves, which are the cities we, uh, we already have in our uh, database. Um, for example, I can, I mean, this tool, tool and the user will um, draw an area, okay, a green area, for example, which stands for a large urban park, for example, as a type of MBS we, we discussed. And uh, can draw, Son coupé. draw drone a building. So I will do it again. Sorry. <laughs> so Alcala de Nares and accessibility of green spaces. This is the, the, the test we are doing. And so we will draw our new park. Maybe it's in two pieces, it doesn't matter. And we will do the calculation. We can do it before and after the implementation so we can see the difference. And then we submit. This is uh, done in our um, web interface, but it can be done uh, uh, as a simple URL, so a communication between servers 
or as a demonstration live like this. So this is a first result. So buildings are evaluated with a simple scale color, but this is just uh, uh, our, kind, our um, um, way to display the result, but the result will be, will be displayed by the SUA tool itself. So this is just an example. For example, this building, which is green, I don't know if you can see it, uh, has a lot of data, you know, coming from the pilot city and also the, the accessibility, uh, which is uh, right here. And uh, this tool takes, so as I already told you, uh, takes in account uh, the, the NDS project done by the user and the context, pre-existing context. We can do other indicators, for example, urban green space proportion, which uh, basically evaluates how much green compared to the older or the built space we have. And here we are dividing uh, a square kilometer in uh, sections so that, that we can see how much green, how much uh, uh, greenery there is in every, in every pixel, let's say. So for example, here is zero, but here where we, we have drawn a new shape, we have different uh, proportion and here it's uh, basically 100% because the park is larger than the pixel. But we also have a measure for the total square and uh, this is just a test, uh, uh, you know, um, a test grid. We can do it larger or smaller, but, you know, for uh, in, the, in the web world, uh, a few seconds are a lot of time. So, uh, this is kind of a, a nice compromise, but we can, uh, we can go bigger or smaller. Uh, another example of indicator is the connectivity of green spaces. Here, the, the shape is much more hard to, um, uh, to understand at a glance, but basically, um, uh, this calculation evaluates the connectivity, so the connection between uh, uh, different patches of green and uh, uh, as the, the give, gives you the insight on how much uh, uh, interchange of uh, species uh, both vegetal and uh, animal there are so basically uh, it's an assessment of this kind and the area is much larger because we need to to know uh, basically green corridors so that's why we we enlarge the the area of analysis. Uh, another indicator, which is, uh, uh, well, I will I reset the stuff, okay. Another indicator is the Shannon Index, which is uh, basically an evaluation of the uh, diversity, habitat diversity, and has uh, five categories. So as per the fact sheet uh, that was developed by other partners in the, in the N4C project, there are five types of, uh, of greenery and not green, which is the built environment. And uh, basically what we can do is to evaluate this, this indicator for the NDS. And uh, very soon with the help of CARTIF, we will be able to um, evaluate, uh, evaluate it as the other indicators. So on a um, uh, larger area, not just the NDS implementation right here. So for example, we can say the percentages of uh, trees, like 50% of the area is covered in trees. And this is uh, by, the, uh, I mean, it's the user that inputs this data because uh, he knows his project or he wants to evaluate it. Uh, so he can test different configurations of the project. Okay, not more than 100%. And we can do the calculation again. This is very fast because it's just one uh, uh, one shape. And here we have the result, which is 1.48, which is a pretty good result considering that the Shannon index has a range between zero and 2.313, I think, uh, for five different kind of um, of um, uh, environment. And so this is just uh, the, the live demonstration. Obviously. Uh, the data you see on the map are the same data that are sent to the SWA tool. Uh, so uh, this, this, this was just an interactive way to uh, make you see um, the shapes, the geometries and uh, the calculations involved. The 
SUA tool is a manager component included in the N4C platform to manage the communications with the three tools presented this morning, which are the tools dedicated to urban assessment. Those three tools combined in the SUA tool are the one that were presented to you this morning, the expert modeling based box, green pass and coloring. It's the goal uh, of the N4C platform to be presenting these tools and results and have um, entries data combined to, to get results of every assessment uh, data needed in one uh, tool. Thank you, Matilde. So yeah, the, one of the main objectives of the Nature for City platform is to collect information coming from this set of tools and be able to provide the information in a homogeneous way in order to visualize the, all the results coming from the evaluation of the same scenario. So yeah, this is one of the main objectives. And regarding the harmonization of protocols and data, uh, in, in this case, we are using mainly open APIs in order to collect information coming from the tools. And, and we are also storing this data into the, the database of the platform, also in this uh, harmonization way. So yeah, this is one of the main objectives of the platform. Um, the data uh, will be needed, yes. Uh, so there will be import um, um, possibilities uh, to do it via shapefile or to do it via the Nature for Cities platform. Or of course, it also can be done within the Greenpass editor. But the aim is clear to uh, combine that within the platform to make it um, most uh, usable for you and, and uh, user friendly. Generally, the 3D shape uh, is uh, generated automatically by the software. So that's uh, one of our USP. So how the model has to be uh, built manually, step by step, and now it's done automatically by just pressing a button. It's a bit uh, different. It's not really uh, working distances. I mean, uh, the distances are part of the calculation, but there is also, uh, we also take into account uh, uh, how many uh, green spaces you can access. So it's uh, a function of uh, uh, the sum of the distances uh, in order to, um, to evaluate um, fair, in a fair way um, different buildings. So for example, uh, a building which has, uh, I don't know, 100 meters of distance from a park, is, uh, uh, has less accessibility to green, uh, to a building that, that has two parks at 100 meters, for example, because there is just more, more, um, more choices. So uh, it's, it's a function of the distance, uh, not just straightforward distance.